Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Kermit Gosnell is a real-life Hannibal Lecter. Gosnell operated an abortion clinic that severed the necks of hundreds of babies and stuffed their bodies into freezers, plastic bags, and cat food tins. Soon, a jury in Pennsylvania will decide his fate. Mr. Speaker, the Gosnell case must give us a moment of reflection. Have 40 years of abortion on demand seared our national conscience and given us a false refuge behind euphemisms like choice? More than 3,000 unborn children die in abortion clinics every day in this country. While none of these deaths attract the headlines of the Gosnell case, each loss is a tragedy. Each of these defenseless, defenseless babies are just as innocent as Gosnell's victims, just as human as you and I, and just as precious as our own children. There is no moral distinction between killing a baby five minutes after birth or ending her life five minutes or even five days before delivery. In the coming weeks, more questions will be asked. Who referred patients to Gosnell's House of Horrors and what can be learned from these atrocities? Today, we all ought to re-examine our national conscience.